Okay, so let's get this off straight. First, this is actually not the video I was planning on uploading today. I was recording a vlog all day, then my SD card, you know, messed up and corrupted and it pretty much broke, so I had to go buy a new SD card, and now we're here. So I lost that whole vlog footage, but this video is actually going to be recorded Sunday and going out Monday. And this isn't a vlog or some sort of entertaining video, I guess you can probably see. It's a very serious and, like... This is the last time I want to make a video on this topic here, but I just, all I have to say is thank you guys for the overwhelming amount of support. And I don't mean just on videos, even though my videos have been pretty good. But I meant just overall, as you guys may have seen, if you guys follow me on Twitter, I made, you know, kind of a random announcement. I got my cancer results. I'm cancer free. Now, a lot of people might, like, be, like, looking at that be like, oh, he's been, you know, like, like, he, he had cancer and he beat it, but that's... Kind of the case, but kind of not. I mean, obviously, you know, I had, you know, I wasn't expecting that tweet to blow up, obviously. I mean, the tweet's getting so much attraction. It's like 5,000 likes, which is wild. I've never had a tweet that had that much likes, and it's still growing. I might wake up with like 10,000 likes on the tweet. It's fucking insane, which is why I want to make this video, and thank you guys for everything. But, you know, I also want to tell you the story, just in case some people decide to click on this, you know, video, and, you know, see what happened. I know all of my friends and homies that I actually stuck with, you know, know about this whole thing. But, obviously, a lot of people have saw the tweet, and a lot of people have not known, you know, what actually happened. It's been a thing going on for a little bit now. I want to say back in April, I was having, you know, pain and everything. Um, so, like, I had pain, like, chest pain. Like, the probably the worst pain I've ever had in my entire life. Honestly, like, really, really bad. I've never had that much pain in my entire life. That's how bad it was. It was just all over my body. I couldn't sleep. It was, it was the worst week of my life. And then we decided to go to the ER. Any, you know, common sense person would do probably when they start getting the pain, I waited a week. So, yeah, there that is. Went to the ER. You know, one just literally drove there and went there, whatever. You know, they did a diagnosis. I was in there for like five hours, which was terrible because it was like 2 a.m. before I got to go home. And with the news, obviously, it was more than likely a possibility of having cancer. Now, the shitty part about this thing is that that was in April. I didn't find out until two days ago that I for sure, for sure don't have it, which honestly blows my mind. Obviously, we, you know, had some situations going on and everything. It was just a long process. It should have took way less because if I would have had cancer, that would have been a really, really bad thing sitting in there for six months of lying treatment. But I'm thankful that I don't have it. So there's that. That was the worst feeling I've ever had in my entire life. Like having a doctor stare straight into your eyes and say that you might have cancer is honestly like the most terrifying thing. Like, like I think about it all the time and it just like scared the shit out of me. Like, I couldn't even, like, just start bawling. It was just, like, a shock feeling. Like, I've never had that feeling in my entire life. It just feels like your heart is just being ripped out from you. It's honestly awful. It was a more than likely chance at that time. And he told my dad before that because my dad was in the waiting room. So he literally knew when we were walking in the door. So I couldn't imagine his reactions because I couldn't see him. My mom was bawling when we called her. It was, it was, it was terrible. Next up was visit my actual primary doctor. He's going to look at it and go over it and then... That's where we kind of got some good news, but, you know, we kind of weren't out of it yet. He said it was basically 70% chance that I don't have it, and 30% chance that I do have it, which, obviously, 30%, that's still a shit ton of percent. It just scared me still. I was still scared shitless, but then the next step after that was they were going to shove a needle down my throat and, like, take tissues out of my lungs because it was somewhere in my lungs. I had, like, a mass in my lungs, which, obviously, that scared me looking at that because I was, like, first thing that popped in my mind was tumor, and then that's just one of the worst things you could possibly have. So that was going to, for sure, tell us if I actually did have cancer, which finally, that just took so long. But of course, I missed that appointment because apparently my dad tried waking me up, but I didn't wake up. So <laughs> that's kind of shit, but I don't know. Then fast forward like two months later, still, we, we were just chilling. I don't know why we waited so long. And then we finally talked to our primary again, we visited him. And then we had to get more CAT scans done because I got CAT scans the day or night that I, you know, had a possibility of having cancer when they diagnosed me. So I had to get more CAT scans and that was going to tell us if I needed to get the needle done. And if the spot has, you know, gone away or very, very, droop, like, went away a lot. I don't know how to explain it. So we did that. And he said we were going to wait on it for about a week. And then I was obviously moving. And, you know, here we are now. And I literally found out when I was still moving, which we don't know what we would have done if I would have actually had it. And I would have had to move back. Or I don't know what we would have done. So then it, we literally, like, didn't know for about a month because I had to move. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, a month after we had the CAT scan, I moved. Which he told us a week, which was just wild. And I think they had the results, actually. They just didn't call us, which it was a load of horse shit. So then I got a call from my sister about break. She told me to text. Well, well, she called me when I was at work, like, my second day. And she asked when I would be able to answer or what I was doing or whatever. She said, call her because it was super important. And I was like, oh, shit. I feel like it's, like, like, like what I felt was, like, it was something with my animals. I would have, oh, my God. And she said it wouldn't upset me, so I called her my break. And then she told me the news that 
they got the results and that the spot has, I don't know how to word this, but it just, it didn't go away completely, but it greatly improved, I guess. So obviously looking at that, obviously cancer doesn't fight itself really, it could, I don't, I don't know, I'm not a scientist, <laughs> but obviously it just can't go away by myself without any sort of treatment, so it wasn't cancer. We got the news finally that it was not cancer, which you guys have no idea what side of relief because it was always in the back of my mind for the past six months. It sucked that it took that long. It was so terrible. It was a long process. It was the worst thing ever. But like, I just want to make this video to thank you guys for everything. You know, all the homies and everything that like reached out to me, replied to my tweet. My tweet right now is at like almost 6,000 likes, over 200 retweets, and over 200 people have commented. Obviously a bunch of random people, but obviously a bunch of homies that you know have stuck with me. I appreciate every single one of you. If you're watching this from the tweet, because I'm probably just going to post this in the tweet down below. But it honestly means like the world to me how much you guys like supported that tweet like especially from the COD community because I know a lot of people from the COD and Fortnite community have supported me but I just felt like for the past couple months that I was kind of forgotten because obviously you guys might know I was going up for north for a good six months before I stopped and I'm pretty sure I stopped like right before I you know had the cancer issue situation or right after or something I don't know but like I thought I was forgotten because I had a little bit of hype around my name going for north but then I stopped and I kind of didn't know what to upload but it means a lot to everyone who commented on that truly like from the bottom of my heart know that I really appreciate it for that but hopefully you can move on from this and if you guys you know will continue supporting me in the future because we are going to go to the top guys follow me on twitter for all the updates go like the tweet I guess about the announcement if you want I don't know I, I have too many likes to go through I tried to reply to everybody I replied to the first like 80 people on it and then I literally like reply when I have time now it's crazy but thank you guys for all the support and like for a Black Ops 4 video because I think I might be posting a Black Ops 4 video tomorrow because Black Ops 4 comes out tonight but I work in the morning so I don't have time to you know record and upload it the day it comes out but I appreciate all you guys support on everything <sighs> we're gonna go to the top guys I'm so fucking grateful for every single one of you guys and every single one of you guys who has reached out to me and showed support to me or even like the tweet even or even I don't know but like comment subscribe if you enjoy vlogs will return obviously I don't know I'm kind of mad that I lost the footage to be honest but if you guys like comment subscribe always always see you but if it's the next one later